Xavier's father lives to the left here. Xavier lives to the right. This is their home. We're here, Belgium. We want to bring you a long tour. Xavier was gracious enough to allow us in. We're going to come down and see him. Very, very windy today. Richard, don't blow all around. years in the pigeon sport they have well over three to four hundred wins Xavier hello, hello, thank you hello Ryan Facebook Hi, friends Richard. this is the man you've all wanted to see <laughs> hello Xavier Verstraat Canadian uh, fanciers so this is world now this isn't just Canada <laughs> yeah so come on <laughs> yeah, in let's let's take inside. a look Richard oh okay. come inside no problem now Xavier, I, what is this loft we're seeing out front here? Oh, that is uh, the raised loft. Uh, he is now about more than 40 years old. For that the loft, 40 yeah, years? Yeah, 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 and yeah, there's two yeah. levels? Two levels, yeah. Upstairs, young birds. Downstairs, uh, my old bird racers. And upstairs, my sleep rooms. So, uh, oh, there. so yeah. through, through the windows here, which you're going to see in a well, bit when we come maybe on the I can outside. Maybe better no, outside. outside. Yeah, now yeah. Hold, hold on. Just, just a quick question. Yeah. Normally, guys have their old birds upstairs. Yeah, but I have. Uh, we have done that uh, because my father is now 89 years old. Ah. Now, the last two, three years, he comes not, not, not on the loft, but before. Uh, my father, his niece, and so. Oh, so you made yeah, it easier. And yeah, it's easier yeah, uh, okay. uh, to go uh, to so, take the pigeons sometimes. So, true father and son team. Yes, 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 yes. You yes. guys have done it all together. We have done that uh, about 48, 49 years together. But now my father is 89 years old. And uh, he comes now the last two years, not now anymore on the loft. And he just, just watches the races? Just watching when they coming. Uh, okay, and he uh, still loves it? Uh, but he is uh, still alive and for the rescue is good. Sometimes his memory is not 100%, but for oh. the rest, uh, okay. Well, father and son team, that's great. So downstairs, old birds, upstairs, young birds. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then back here, which we're going to see later on, that's your, what, you breed? Yeah, uh, those are my breeders because uh, they broke in three times and they stole two times pigeons. And it's, ah. uh, it's much safer if you have your stock birds or your breeders. Uh, Close to your stuff. house. And also in winter time, it's warmer there. And okay. We have no problems for breeding, etc. Well, guys, I think so far it's going good. Let's go out and take a look at the lots if you don't All mind. Right. Come on, follow me. Go ahead of me, Richard. I'll close the door. Okay. And thank again, you. I want to thank you for, for allowing us in. Now, how long, what's the length of this loft? Oh, it's about 18 meters, I believe. 80 meters? Yeah. And? Uh, yeah, but on the right side up there, the sitting, no, uh, I have too much place on this moment. Yeah, but it's better that you have some left. Extra uh, room. Yeah. I just so, want to get a shot here of the stock birds yeah. where they yeah, are. Upstairs. And this is, a, uh, this is uh, Xavier's house. Room. Yeah, and on that's, the right side, that's my father's house. And they're sitting uh, on the right yeah. side upstairs. That's uh, where it's big Avery, eh? Yes, 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 big, but it's also uh, 40 years old. Uh, <laughs> built right into the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah built yeah. right in. I've never seen this before. Okay. So, uh, I have on each loft, I have a small Avery. Sometimes a small, sometimes a bigger, but also um, I prefer that, if it is possible, that the pigeons sitting outside or about outside when it is good sunshine weather. So even with your race birds, you don't mind if they're out in an aviary? Yeah, but uh, yesterday it was extremely windy and... Dangerous, uh, I know. Uh, yesterday evening we have a catastrophe. Uh, one aviary is uh, rowing with the wind and uh, gone. Uh, gone, but... Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Come on, we, uh, we go. A short, uh, visit. short visit, guys. And you have youngsters 
already for the year. Yes, I uh, have a list moment about uh, 75 to 80 youngsters uh, ready from uh, this year. Wow, uh, okay. So he's got about 80, 80 youngsters already ready to go. Yesterday there was here also. So there's an apron here that's here, gone. Here, that gone. No birds got out though. No, no, no. Sam. That's okay. We know. That was bad. We were in it in the storm. It was unbelievable. So you like to leave music on in the loft? Uh, yes, because uh, then uh, there is a little noise and a little music and um, it's better than it's also so quiet and so yeah, uh, so you like a little bit of music yes, just to yes, get yes. them get them used to it yeah, and it's also good when you clean the loft itself uh, better for yeah. you yeah 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 here sitting my uh cocks yeah, my widowhood cocks now uh, i notice here we're in here this is a hallway it's yes. almost as, it's bigger than the sections that they're in yeah all the and the, and the cocks aren't in uh, but they uh, for the evening they sleep there. So and you all day long you leave them in the law out out in the hallway. Yeah, uh, but it's new I tell it because forty five years my wife was anti pigeon sport. She and was. Now, yeah, and now the last two years uh, she helped me. She's and, okay uh, with she it. She helped me. She she make everything clean and so and it's a lot of help for me. Uh, and uh, oh yeah for the rest. Yeah. So uh, what, you just fly them widowhood? Yeah, widowhood. Yeah. So I have not so much ventilation because this is the top floor, this is the floor from yeah. upstairs from the young birds. So okay. From, yeah, from where is, uh, there is no ventilation. Just there, yeah, and I can open the window. I can open the windows. Yeah, if it is necessary. So this loft yeah. must get quite warm in the yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's so good. No. The heat is good. When you will have condition, you, have you, heat. Need, you need heating. Heating, guys. Tips. Heating. And uh, how many how many uh, cocks will you have in here? Uh, here in about uh, 24, 25. Uh, and those, yeah. there's enough air for them. There's no problems. They're yeah, not no overcrowding. No problem, but it's now winter time. Normally. Yeah. yeah. But it's good. And, and I think uh, you have a good, a good loft. Uh, when you stay in short and maybe just t -shirt. In, a, in a small t-shirt yes and you sweat a little and you have no cold then it's good here yeah? that's and right so that's if you if your wife wants to wear a bikini and she's not cold in the loft <laughs> it's, it's number one <laughs> that's right now that's these amazing. these boxes yeah these are your widowhood boxes yeah you yeah, feed yeah. the cocks in the boxes uh no 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 uh i i uh, place total widowhood ship there you shall see on the other side sitting my wid my widowhood raising hands. Yes. And I clo I open just the door. And that's yeah? it. And that's it. Yeah. But I don't do that uh, not anymore before the uh, before the race. Uh, so you you th these cocks will come home to those race hands. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So if a it's, cock it's if a not cock the best system. It's not no. the best system because. Sometimes there is a cock and he have no hand, etc. Right, a little yeah. discouraging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you still have done excellent on it. And you've flown the same system for quite a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I raised that system now about uh, four or five years and it's very good. When I can give him a tip for, for racers in Canada and so, try to race with uh, hands. Because mostly the hands are better in, in results they are uh, more consistent more consistent that that's the the big quality and also for later uh, when you select the the breeding pigeons uh, um, it's better that you uh, that you raise better to raise your hand you hear yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you're always my, cleaning. My wife cleaning so you are uh, wait a moment linda <laughs> stop on. this is all live this is what we like <laughs> to hear you weren't lying. She's helping you out in the loft. Yeah. Okay. So the so the cock birds during the day will stay out here. In yeah. the evening, you let them go yeah, into the, yeah, yeah, into yeah, the yeah, and, yeah. and what are you feeding this time of year? 
Uh, I, I give a light corn. Uh, I have a, an old mixing, but it's uh, a corn with uh, without uh, beans. Uh, no beans. No beans and peas. Uh, that is the base. A lot of barley. And, uh, a lot of barley. Yeah. Then, uh, if you give too much, or my wife feeding sometimes, and she give too little, much, little then you see it there, 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 right there. But the last uh, four or five uh, times uh, at the week before the basketing, then, then I give 100% uh, all the best. All the best. Uh, so much get. that I want. Uh, and, and, and extra. Uh, uh, hennep, uh, hemp seed, yeah. hemp peanuts, seed, hemp seed. Uh, sometimes broken peanuts, not so much. Uh, more uh, sunshine, uh, sunflower. Flower, sunflower, but inside the pits only the. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah, sunflower, yeah, the yeah, white, the yeah, white yeah, part. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. so a lot of fat. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fat. Hemp seed, and, fatty, yeah, yeah, yeah. very and, good. Uh, if I can tell you one thing about uh, the feeding, mm -hmm. most important is not, uh, I think, uh, the barley or the mice at all, but uh, give animal proteins. But animal because, proteins? Yeah, that's... Uh, so what do you mean, yeah, for we, the people we, watching, yeah. well, what is animal proteins? Yeah, yeah you, can, you can give it on, on, on different ways, but animal proteins uh, like uh, from egg food, Egg food, uh, egg yeah. food, or uh, I sometimes I give every extra cheese. Cheese, uh, the cheapest so you, cheese, and and, uh, and you cut it up, uh, uh, and you I cut it, yeah, in small pieces, and they eat uh, the cheese like nothing. And um, yeah, but I give it also when youngsters are or uh, ten days old and twenty days old. So they get old. the taste yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, not only for that because in cheese there's it a little of calcium, but also. Uh, a lot of uh, fats and also a lot of uh, animal proteins. So, so there's a good tip, guys. If you're going to give them cheese, cut it up small. You cut it small, it's about the size yeah, of a corn. You can give him also, uh, we say, insect pate. Yeah? When, when you see outside the, the, um, the wild birds, they, yes. eat, they eat snakes, small snakes, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 that's so right. It's also uh, animal uh, protein. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, okay, so you're not worried if your birds go out on the grass and pick? Uh, no, I don't like that. Uh, you don't normally, like it. when they go outside, they fly. And they come in, it's done. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But normally, I have here before an Avery, and then, and then they, they can go and pick. Avery in, yeah. Okay, I oh. show you just uh, also there on the other side is my uh, widowhood. Uh, my widowhood hands. So I think Xavier Scrapcloth. That is the leafy denoxins. He's on my race again. Good. Again, guys, this log is 40 years old. Forty, 40, 49 years old. Yeah, 49 no, years old. No, 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 no. We raised uh, 51 years and we live here 40 years. and, and this uh, this place, yeah. but yeah, you know, like you see uh, here, this, these are my raised hands, yeah. these and they'll be the, out all day. Yeah, uh, they're sitting here outside the whole day. They come just inside for uh, for feeding, for drinking, and for sleeping. Yes. Yeah. And uh, when they come back from the race. They can uh, mingle with the, the cocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 do they get to go on the boxes? Yeah, and uh, I uh, race some some the first weeks uh, that they uh, can take here another a new place. Right. Yeah, because that is the best um, the best way for motivation is give the pigeons a, a bigger uh, area or, or a bigger uh, territorium. Yeah, and, 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 and then they stuff. have a, they have a, then a second uh, a second uh, property property or, apartment. Yeah, yeah, apartment yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, after a few weeks they go also by the the cocks that's again after a few weeks so you, you a constantly new, keep a new, motivated yeah yeah pigeons he doesn't do pigeons. one what you're trying to say is you don't pigeons. do one type of motivation yeah. Well, yeah, different, different, different motivations. Yeah, but pigeons they like, uh, I think, uh, something new. Uh, yeah, they don't have, uh, don't be afraid to uh, to change something in the middle of the season or so. Uh, uh, they like new things. They have uh, these cocks are very, very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. they don't racers. Uh, uh, 
And you're looking at Xavier's race team. It's, yeah. They look fantastic. Yeah. Nothing special, man. Eh? No. All right. Well, hey, we're going to end part one. We're going to move on to part two. I want to thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the second part of this. Richard, hit the end button. Here. Hey, we got Xavier Verstrad here. We're looking at another super cockbird. Yeah. Tell me about him. Oh, this is one of my best breeders on this moment, but especially for races from 5, 600, 700, 800, 900 kilometers. It's a direct son of uh, the champion. Champion was second national ace bird uh, from Belgium, long distance. KBDB and it's a direct child from the champion from Chris Hebrecht. Yeah. So, so uh, that's a direct son of champion. Yeah, this is a direct son of champion. His name is Champion 2. Yeah. Uh, ring number 415 from 2011. Uh, what's this so especially also it's for 25% our old bloodline uh, from uh, my Barcelona hand. His grandmother winning uh, first prizes from 400 kilometers, but also first prizes from uh, eight, 900 kilometers mm. uh, per pignon. Really around pigeons, uh, not the big type. And no. I promised the fanciers in Canadian or in uh, USA that in the next auction, there are sure one or two charts, direct charts in the auction. That, he's and a super, super cockbird. Not too big, but I super have feather with, quality. I have also with six, seven, eight different hands. I have uh, good pigeons also in the first and the second generation, and a lot of fences, not only in Belgium, but more in other countries. Gabi van der Nabele, winning one times uh, three, four years ago, the second in the one million dollar race, second prize in the final. That was also the mother was sister of him. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, yeah, but so many fences have uh, are successful with the champion line. Yeah, also from Chris Abra. Well, hey, thank yeah, you, thank you very much. He's a super cockbird, and again, guys, just another little tip. He's got his egg turner, An incubator, incubator. Turns the eggs every fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, you can, if you will, every hour, but I think these ones is every 15 minutes. And uh, I use it especially in the summertime, in race time. If I race sometimes with uh, youngsters, uh, they're sitting on nest. And uh, this way uh, they don't chill. Yeah, then uh, you have uh, no problems. Uh, and I have also always uh, small youngsters also, if I, if I need it. And, uh, when the parents go on transport, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, the eggs are cold, or you must uh, yeah. put them by other couples, and and you don't found it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a good tip is uh, for I think one hundred uh, dollar, uh, you have a good uh, egg machine, yeah. Uh, and yeah. and uh, you have a lot of. Um, a lot of fun with that. Yeah, no yeah. problems and, and no broken eggs. Yeah. Simple yeah, tip. Also, yeah, yeah. Simple tip that uh, works, guys. You see him, what Xavier. I have it on more than 20 years. Uh, yeah. What he does, what he, what he's little tip that he's giving you guys. He's, he's loaded with super knowledge, over 50 years in pigeon sport. Okay. Uh, I show you here some of my best breeders. Uh, uh, this, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this is a son of a uh, major. Um, in 2019, in the auction, mm. uh, there was uh, one of the last childs from major. This is also a direct son of major, uh, and he raced extremely very well. And now he's sitting on the on the stock loft. Uh, this is a son of major, uh, right. but. Uh, uh, it's not possible to have other child from Major because Major is now dead. So one of the last uh, youngsters are in your yeah. auction. Was it our, yeah. our auction? Richard, handle that guy. Let's see what you think of him. Yeah. He makes very good performance very nice. from three, four hundred, but especially over the seven, six, seven hundred kilometers. Also top. Uh, very tight vents and 
yeah. the distance between the keel and the vents is like one finger. He's a middle-sized pigeon. I would say middle-sized, wouldn't you, Xavier? Yeah, middle yeah, middle yeah, size. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Very, have, very boring. You have good pigeons on every distance, but uh, by us, the pigeons sitting sometimes two and three days in the baskets. Yeah. And, uh, on the truck. Yeah, on yeah. the truck. And uh, then I think sometimes it's those time harder than, than the race time. Yeah, yeah. And I know. when they're sitting in the basket. We'll this them. is another son of the champion from Can Chris Everett. In the one hole? And here is uh, the mother, is uh, my Maxima. Uh, Maxima was a daughter from the second national um, second national Dex. Uh, he looks super. He, he is, looks very he, nice he, in the he hands. He is also super. And uh, Richard, uh, I know that you Look. like that cock. Very nice uh, bronze, eh? Yes, yes, bronze yes, 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 bronze feathering. That's an old. Uh, and uh, he have also the horns. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah! Look at the horns on him. Let, let's open more, the wing. I have also uh, a lot of good uh, pigeons from him, and uh, he, he produced very well also in the second and the third generation. You, get a, you guys nice. are getting a good look at some of Xavier's super birds. Uh, Medium size, very nice. Yeah. Uh, Who do this, we have here? This is um, Lost Maxim. I, wait a moment, uh, Richard. Yeah. Uh, they have the same mother. So his mother is uh, Maxima. Mm -hmm. yeah. His mother is also Maxima. The father is from this cock is extra. Extra. Yeah. So these are two two yeah, half brothers. Two half brothers. Half two half yeah, brothers. Yeah. And I can tell you a story. Go never, ahead. never in my whole life mm -hmm. I sold a child from Maxima. So I put all the children from Maxima on the stock loft. Okay. We talk, everybody talked from top star, from owner yeah. and so, but uh, I have more, for me, or the hands sometimes more important. And uh, uh, after the four or five years, I saw that Maxima is so a good performance hand, uh, yeah, breathing hand. And uh, at one, uh, Maxima was then old and died. And at that moment, I put all the children on my stock loft. And every child from Maxima. Breeds uh, good. Yeah, that was the bloodline from uh, a Holland fancier. The, the name was Cas van der Graaf. And that was a fancier. Look he raised nice only uh, on yeah. right. pigeons for the extreme long distance. But we mix it with the middle distance. And they do it on every distance, really yeah, from yeah. three, four, five hundred, but also from eight, nine hundred kilometers. And that is what we're searching really around pigeons. All around pigeons, yeah. super nice. Yeah. They both look he, fantastic. He, this, Richard this, handles him. This cock is mm. also the father from uh, in the last uh, South Africa race, mm -hmm. uh, the final in 2019. Yes. Um, the 77 prize from uh, Sim Samuel Loft. Okay. Yeah, that was a ring original from me. Ah. Samuel Loft. Eh? Samuel by 200 youngsters in 2019 in Belgium, three on my loft, and his first pigeon from the 200 was a direct child from him. Huh. In the final 77 prize. So you're even hearing... So the ring number was uh, 4160 233. Good with his memory from 19. Yeah. So that was the 77 prize and the final. Direct son or do, d direct daughter, I think, from him. Yeah. Very, right. very nice. I'll show you some other uh, good pigeons. Give me a Here we go. Xavier Verstraat. Super move by Loft Manager Richard. Making this moves. Is this? Oh, yeah. This is, oh, this oh. is again. This is a son of Topstar. The name is Topmax. Okay. Why I tell him Topmax? Because the mother is Maxima. Okay. Again, a son of Maxima. They ah. end with. Yeah. with, with Look the, at the front. Richard, hang on. Yeah. The, the, Put him is, in your hand. Yeah. What do you think of him? Oh. Super, I can yeah. just see it in Xavier's hands. Look at the back on that. And look, look at the cross here. Yeah. And the what's this so special? The first pigeon uh, I told there from artist. Yeah. Uh, the father, uh, artist, his father mm -hmm. uh, was proud of him. Yeah. Yeah. 
sorry, Artis, his grandfather was a brother of him. Full brother. And the buoyancy, the buoyancy, he's so nice. In the I case. wish I could handle yeah. him. I'm doing some videoing, that's fine. Xavier for yeah. Strats Loft, looking this at some super three, breeders. Three and is also they're, they're all lined up nice. You see that? This is also a son of uh, Top Star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His name is Filou. Filou. Yeah. So each are a son of. Each so are so son these are of, two yeah. two sons of Top yeah, Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is an inbred son. Uh, I know you're gonna want to yeah. handle him for sure. And uh, that's his, why he looks a bit smaller, eh? No, a bit he looks a bit man. bigger. Does he, he look bigger, bigger to you? He looks bigger yeah, from yeah, yeah, in yeah, Xavier's yeah. hand to me. But uh, his mother is a grandchild of uh, Yelena, and maybe you know uh, the Yelena, the yes. uh, from Etienne Merlin. Yes. And Yelena is also a daughter of Topstar. Ah, okay. So yeah, I think maybe Yelena is one of the best hands from Belgium. Eh? Yes, she is. Uh, That's she right. She was also the mother of the first international Narbon. Eh? Um, I can tell you, uh, I have now five grandchildren of Topstar winning a first national. Yeah. Five grandchildren of Topstar. Uh, grandchildren. Yeah, grandchildren. Yeah. Eh? Uh, one by Mr. Eric Lambour, first, yes. first uh, international 2014 Perpignan. Then uh, by uh, Etienne Merlin, the, the Monar, yeah? was also a grandchild of Topstar, <laughs> yeah? first international Narbonne. Uh, then I have by Gabi van der Nabele, the new Blixem. Yes. The mother was also daughter of Topstar. Yeah. Uh, there is also in England, Mr. Treyhorn, first national from Le Mans. Uh, also 700 kilometers from France over the water. Yeah, over the channel. Yeah, yeah. over the channel. Also, the, f the father is a son of Topstar. Um, yeah, I have five national uh, winners, and I have self. I shall show you here my extra was a direct child of Top Star, first national from 750 kilometers. Richard, now, that, that channel in some spots it's 80 miles across, yes, yes, and some well, spots no, no, 40 no. miles, but sometimes, some spots, sometimes only 30 miles, also. Yeah, but okay, uh, 30 miles but, is no joke. But, uh, that's just the first time. Sometimes they must go from England, they must go to uh, North Ireland or uh, to Ireland. So, yeah, uh, hot races in England, also. What do you think of him? He's very, very nice. He looks super yeah. in your hands. Again, guys, you're seeing all the very best here. Bring, bring it now to how you. How old is he? He's not by the he Pigeon Auctions. The, We're hoping uh, you're the, enjoying he this. He is one of the youngest ones. Uh, my uh, youngest. Youngest uh, child. Uh, this is also a son of Top Star. The, name, son. the name is uh, Danny Star. He, he has plus. So maybe, this is a 13. Yeah, and he is from 12. Maybe we put here. Well, so we have more light. We see the eye, maybe. Let's see. What yeah, he has a glass eye. Yeah. Yes. This is combination uh, Top Star. The uh, father is Top Star, and uh, the mother is uh, from Finike 5000. Yeah. Bloodline from Floor 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 Floor. Yeah, Yes. This one. Yeah. Super nice. They all look okay. very, very nice. Su super buoyant. Yeah, you can see the buoyancy. Yeah. Again, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. How do you like him? Again, another one. Another one. Again, these top star birds, they produce all over the world for numerous people. I show you here an, another son of top star. This is extra. Right. Yeah. Let's bring he, him up. He winning the first national from 750 kilometers. And he winning also two weeks before the third national from Brief from uh, 680 kilometers. But uh, he don't produce anymore. Flying uh, against how many birds? Uh, it was national from, uh, I was looking about five or 6,000 pigeons. And that's him here and on the wall. What's it so specially on that pigeon? Mm -hmm. When he winning the first national, the pigeons are seven days in the basket. Oh, because seven days on the trailer, on the truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was always bad weather in France and they're waiting until it's, it's sunshine. Yeah. Now, guys, this after seven days, they on a over. Yeah, 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 yeah. For you, people. And then he winning the first national with many minutes before the second. Yeah. And with, uh, and we are not on the perfect uh, way for. From him, I have about, I think, 15 children on the on my stop loft. 
first national and third national. Now he's getting on. He's a 12, right? Yeah. This no, guy? no, he is from. He he don't produce anymore. But he's a 2006. Six, yeah. He's an 06. Yeah, you're right. How does he feel? He's, he's an old pigeon. He, he, no, he doesn't feel like an old pigeon. Now, we have that one cock that's an 06. He's done. He feels old. This pigeon, he doesn't look like he's... He doesn't look old. Not at all. He look like a, he looks like a yearling, this cockbird. He really does. Yeah, but <laughs> I will give him a lot of money if I can have uh, youngsters from him. But uh, no, it's, no, I try him over the last two years. Uh, and, uh, so guys, we are looking at birds yeah. from Xavier here. He's been gracious enough Look to show us these pigeons. Again, the end he are also one of my best breeders. Mm -hmm. The name is Kola. Uh, he is the son of Olala. Mm -hmm. And uh, Olala was one of my base breeders from the last 10 years. Yeah. And uh, I promised also a direct child from Kola in the auction of uh, USA. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I can tell from uh, this line from uh, Olala, uh, four weeks ago, Mr. Hagemuller winning in the Pattaya race, five, yes. 530 kilometers in Thailand, first prize, and that was combination uh, Olala with extra. Oh, this combination. Yeah, as uh, the mother was uh, at the moment, I must say, no, the father was uh, here, inbred top star with Olala, and the mother was uh, from Mr. Copeland. And uh, that win that pigeon winning $125,000 as first prize, and he is sold for $103,000. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this off here for a second. I want to yeah. talk about this cock again, just one more yeah. second. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. We're hoping you're enjoying what we're showing you here at Xavier's Place. Some super breeders. Check back with us. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are at the loft of Xavier Verstrat. And I'm showing you this pigeon here right now. The name of the pigeon is The Artist. He is Xavier's... Well, Xavier, you tell me, what's so special about this, this cockbird? Oh, yeah, it's a very nice pigeon. Uh, him, he will, he raised himself the 21 national from uh, a national race, Libourne, 750 kilometers. That is about 550 miles or so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, also, top prize is at 500 kilometers. But uh, last year, I have in the national race of for the yearlings. I have um, uh, fourteen pigeons in the race, and by my first ten, seven children, direct children from him, with six different hands as mother. So he is an incredible breeder. And you say uh, this is going to be going forward the new? I think, uh, yeah, uh, I I'm sure for ninety nine percent. He is my new top star because his father is a grandson of top star and Maxima, my two base pigeons. Yeah. But he is so good. He's super in the hands. Yes. Yeah. He also. You, I can. I cannot tell you that he's not so too boy. big, but he have no mistakes. He is small, really small feathers. Uh, a very intelligent eye. Um, Perfect on the end, not too big, not too small, uh, and oh yeah, uh, when he give them such a good youngsters, they raise good as youngster, they do it good as yearling, and normally it's a bloodline for five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred kilometers, but they do it all very successful at 300 or so so uh at, at the I shorter think, end so, and so there the you go this is my lotto winner for the next 10 years right here lotto winner over yeah. winner for the next 10 yeah. years yeah the artist super yeah. very yeah. nice yeah. in the hands i enjoyed it very very much okay. thank you for showing him there you go guys again if you're wanting just to see there's the photo of him when I bring pigeons to the Canadian auction in 2020, I put sure a child of him uh, in the auction. So there you go. 2020, you will see one child for sure off of that super cock. Thank you. Yeah, I promise that. Yeah. Thank you. Hey guys, if you are wondering where we are right now, we're in Xavier Verstraat Stockloft. This is a one-time shot you get to see this. 
Okay, uh, this loft is also 40 years old, eh, but yeah, easy for cleaning. Easy. And, uh, oh, look at how they do that. Super. Uh, it was the same system by Jansen's brothers. And same from system. there, uh, we make copy from that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have seen him. Uh, Who's this? This is also a son of um, Topstar? son of Extra. Look at the back. Oh, yeah. Son of Top Star. Uh, I give him the name Extreme Extreme Extra because he is extremely beautiful. <laughs> you just had a dump. Uh, uh, right, my hand. Hey, that's okay. Uh, you just came off the nest. But look at this. Look at this stock loft. It's so big. How big is this room? I mean, it's... Yeah, okay, it's big, but... Yeah, it's got to be 24 uh, by 24. Unit. But uh, they're sitting also here, six, seven uh, feeder couples. Uh, feeder couples in here as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then if you guys can't see, sometimes it's hard to see through the wire. Xavier, where should I let him go? Beautiful. All right. It's not beautiful, but uh, no, it's very, it's very easy, nice. Easy for cleaning, yeah, but it's very nice. All right. I'm gonna have in here. I got one. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. No smell of pigeon in here at all. No. Here, a lot of uh, ventilation. And you can see where the ventilation goes right up to the ceiling. Nice, very high in here. Lots of light comes in. Got the light from the skylights. You can see all of them. Yep. Yeah. Show you here another one. In last auction 2019, mm -hmm. this is Panchima. Uh, he warning. Uh, Panchima is 141 from 2010. Yes. He winning the first prize from Perpignan in 2013. Yes. And in 2014, the second prize in club from uh, Perpignan. This is a race from 900 kilometers. Again, a son of Maxima. Another son. Yeah, but with the Pancho bloodline from Chris Ebrecht also. But really very good pigeons once it's over the 500 kilometers. They really turn yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, lots of fight. Wow. Nice he's like bird. A, he's like a wedge. Like a wedge, eh? All up front. Look at the strength on that back. The name is Panchima. Yeah? Panchima. Yeah, there was a, a youngster from him yes. in, the, in the auction one year ago. So maybe I, I'm was looking. Oh, look at this guy. Who's this guy? Uh, wait a moment, 209. Yeah. Uh, this is a pigeon. Uh, he winning. Wait a moment. Um, his father is Bowman. His grandfather winning the first uh, national from Barcelona. Uh, but. <laughs> The owner forgot to clock him. He was in his bed and he clocked him then two hours later and oh. he winning, he, but he winning then the uh, bronze medal. Uh, the owner was, uh, wait a moment, uh, I forgot his name, uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff De Vrind. Yeah? Uh, but that pigeon winning self, first prize uh, from our own, uh, from 800 kilometers or so. Yeah. What a character on his fi on his yeah. face, eh? His head. Yeah. Oh man. Is he getting on too? He's, what? he's getting older. Uh, this is 2012, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. He's 2012. He? Oh, okay. He's got Again, lots of fight. Pigeon. Boy, I can not tell you how many performances he makes, but he makes uh, two first prizes from eight, nine hundred kilometers. Yeah. So when they winning then a first top or a top prize, that's is not a lucky shot, because once it's over the 600 kilometers, it's not a not a lucky. No, no, no. no. Well, we the really, the really best. They are the winners. We hope you like what you see here. We gotta thank Xavier for bringing us in here. We're going to keep talking with Xavier. Okay. We're gonna let you guys go, but thanks. Uh, I hope you enjoy his breeding loft. You've seen a bit of his race loft, some of the breeders. Now we keep talking and let the breeders come back in.
yeah. Thank you. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We're looking at another super cockbird. Tell me about this guy. Oh, yeah. The, the name is uh, Cola. And uh, Cola is also a famous uh, breeder. But also his sisters and his brothers are very famous because uh, his father was my uh, famous Olala. Uh, and Olala was... Uh, First prize winner from Boozers Provincial, first prize winner from um, also from Brief. This is 500 and 680 kilometers. And you were talking about South Africa this year out of this, uh, uh, related to this? Uh, no, not from South Africa. No, uh, that was from Mr. Hagemuller. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. And uh, they winning in the Pattaya race. Oh, Pattaya, uh, that's Pattaya, it. Pattaya, yes. yeah, he winning the, the first prize um, in the final. Yeah. And uh, the same, I have also uh, two years ago in the um, Balkan race. Balkan race, we, yes. Yeah, also a race from 530 kilometers. Also the first prize in the final was the same combination. That was Olala with, uh, coupled with Extra. Yeah, and uh, nice that's car. the same. He's yeah. super nice in the hands. I handled them. Yeah, yeah. And, Look at and this, this year, and uh, I, sh I promised also uh, a child from him or from his sister in the auction. Also, super. But uh, all the, our line the, is all our line is uh, very important. I crossed it. Those are really around pitches, not extreme long distance, but nice middle. From, yeah, nice middle, but also good on, on six, seven hundred. 800 kilometers. Eh? It's uh, our old bloodline. Also, Mr. Gino Click have uh, the same bloodline. Uh, when you see in the pedigrees from Lucien, uh, from uh, Gino Click, the Lucien. This is from Lucien Stalls, and this is the old line for a port from 20, 30 years ago. Richard, handle him. Feel, feel, feel this oh. super. Perfect, not to. to they're the per these small. birds are all good size. They're not overly big. They're not. Over they're just. They're. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, Very nice. I make, I make just the selection on uh, the performance from from the children. Eh? You can see the back. You can see the. the he um, looks just like his father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, he's, he's crossing with uh, the old Marshall Albrecht bloodline. It's also uh, a little Albrecht inside. So there you and have from it. From the first uh, national Bordeaux. Another great opportunity for you people. Brought to you by Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. He's very nice, isn't he? Very nice. You can't fault him at all. No, he's uh, he's a little bigger than small, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. But he right. fits right. Right. Tight vents. Super nice cockpit. Uh, this is another very good breeder. This is uh, Maxi Bijou. It's again, again uh, Maxima crossing with Bijou, and Bijou was uh, uh, Bijou was a full brother of Extra. Richard, take him in the hand. What do you think? Yeah. You like him? I can see this. He's super. He, he looks. He looks, he looks big. big. He looks big. But I'm telling you, there's nothing yeah, to he's him. So yeah. buoyant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Uh, it's also a grandchild uh, uh, of a grandchild from Ike, and Ike was national age bird long distance. Yes. Uh, from Chris Abrecht. Chris uh, Abrecht. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's about ten years ago, but. Uh, look at, he, he look, at the, look at the front. Yeah. We might have to get one out but, of this guy too. <laughs> yeah, but he, he's he super. is famous. He is famous. He is. Uh, incredible yeah. good breeder now. Nice, yeah. nice tight yeah. wing. Yeah. 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 So the feather quality looks superb. The daughter now is there coupled with uh, my champion. Uh, yeah. The best of the best here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. I, I will show you my, uh, also my um, Bonito, but he fly out. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, maybe I take uh, one other pigeon. Uh, you can take. Uh, you want me to come in here? Yes, 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 yes. Come on in. Yes, this is my come. stock loft. This is the stock loft. Very old. Now this is the stock loft. Yeah. Nice. Just let it go in here. Yes, let him, or maybe. Don't.
you see the young ones here, Ryan, uh, Xavier uses nest pads. 